Hey everyone, welcome back to Fatal Fame 3. We are at chapter 7 already. It's going so much faster than I thought, but we're definitely getting more and more into the lore of the game. We're getting we're going to start really like getting piecing together how the story in elkaar steekt in Dutch. How the story fits together, I think. Very end of the last episode, we got this little like preview. We saw a very pretty lady in a cage hanging up above, Miku below it, little impaling kid. She's wearing like the outfit that she impales people, um, was saying, please save them. And that is where we're gonna pick it up. So let's see what Miku is getting herself into this time. Oh, I think I took a picture of this, didn't I? Because we definitely looked at the skin. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh. Okay, cool. There we go. So, let's see... What happens? There's only one exit to this room, I think. Yeah. So let's exit here and see what happens. It's probably a ghost we can follow, or we'll get some hints, I'm sure. Hello? Hmm. The lady was saying something like, she must cut all ties and leave nothing behind. But we still can't get in here. No. Still closed off. Um... Oh God, where are we gonna go? What's what's our plan? Maybe I'll try and exit uh, through the other door. I'm thinking there's one part I'm thinking of that we might be able to do, but I'm not sure if. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm not sure if Miku is supposed to do that or they. Or if that's now or later. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I am hearing singing. Where is it coming from? Yeah, I can hear the sound of the lullaby coming from somewhere. Oh no. Oh no, the worst part of the game is coming up. No. Hmm. Remember when Day was like in a corridor and it got too small for her and she was like a child or a very small woman could fit through here? Well, Miku is tiny. This way. Low in the wall is an open door leading under the floor. It's pretty narrow, but maybe I could squeeze through. Oh, Miku, what are you doing? No oh, god. Double. Double trouble? If you continue pressing the X button, you can charge your spirit power in two stages. Shoot by releasing the X button. The greater the charge, the greater the damage. Okay. The higher your level, the faster your second charge. Uh, let's see if we can equip that immediately. I don't know where she has it. Maybe I'll upgrade the max value and then leave the rest. Oh, this is double. What is stone? Slow the movement. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want to use too many. Um. Don't want to use too many points on side characters. Day is the real character here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Uh, get the fuck out of me! Uh, oh, I'm using my powers. Oh. No, 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 no! Did I get her? I don't think I got her. I definitely didn't get her. Oh god. My camera! Um, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna leave. 
go, go, go. Oh, I can leave. I do not have the capabilities to fight her at all. Holy shit. No, thank you. Where are we? The candlelit altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm. Oh, we are... Okay. Then I know what we're doing. We're collecting these stones. Okay. A book on the altar. Green diary. Amane led a man into the shrine. The head of the family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken and the rift will spread. The family head teaches all the handmaidens so hard that they won't forget their duties. The head of the family ordered that Amane be impaled and that her brother be cast out of the manor. Because of the duties of the handmaidens and the duty of the Guse shrine, there was no other choice. Amane, I'm sorry. Okay. So whoever Amane is... Um, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Must, I pressed the button but my camera didn't come out. Got you. I got you. Oh, too early. Oh, still count it. Oh, I could do a fourth one? Holy shit. Nice. Got her. This I can handle. The lady under the floor, I cannot handle. <laughs> no, thank you. What is it? Something up ahead? This way? Where is it? Oh, it might be actually above ground. Yep. I actually never wondered who these people are that got hanged here. I wonder why they're here. Oh, can I not get to the middle? Oh, there we go. An image of something has been caught on the photo. Let's develop that later. I can't go around that either. There's a light burning on the altar, where there is an offering of a, on a wooden stand and two pairs of holly branches. Maybe they were used for some kind of ceremony. In the room I looked into from the roof, sacks shaped like people were hanging. Sacks, sacks shaped like people. On the floor by an altar was a big red-black bloodstain. What purpose could this room serve? The old book tells how a family named Moria, marked by the tattoo, killed the shrine carpenters after they had built the manor, then ended by making themselves into taboo pillars or sacrificial pillars. All except one, the new master builder. Men in white. The men in ragged white robes and tall court hats. In the photo where the man holding a hatchet and hiding his face appeared, they were standing in line as though for a commemorative photo. They were holding carpentry tools. Maybe they had something to do with building the house. And then after, they were built into the walls. Anything else here? I guess I'll just try and leave then. Sliding lock. Oh, we unlocked it. Awesome. Okay, so the challenge for... I just opened the map. Oh, hi. Holy shit. No, no, no. Creepy, creepy, creepy. What was it? Hold. Oh, oops. Hold X. 
Ah, uh, it didn't work. Okay, whew. Still got a picture. The oh, fuck. Didn't think that was what was happening. I missed it. Oh, those needle hands, man. Fucking needles throughout all of her arms and ropes through her eyeballs. So creepy. Okay, as I was saying, the challenge right now is to find those little hidden rooms. So see that? We crawled from this big room, this little opening here, and then we came out here. And in between we had... Wrong way. This. And this room. Okay, so we got one of them. There's two obvious ones. There's one here and there's one here. Um, and then there's one that is like here, right? Um, it was down. It was somewhere. Oh, I think it's here, but it was locked maybe? But this is the corridor, isn't it? Yep. So this is the one that they went in and then was like, I can't fit here. So this, is, I think, is where we need to go. And I'm sure that will lead us to... Okay, so here. Holy mama, whew! What is it again? Out of the frying pan into the fire? <laughs> Is it here? Oh! Nice. It's a huge face, isn't it? Like two eyes that I see nose. Hmm. Okay. Anything here? Nope. I'm gonna try and go through up here, I think. This fucking creepy ass room. Um, oh, is she here? Oh god. Just keep going. Oh, an item though. Shit. Oh, she's not gonna like this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where is she? Oh god. Gonna take the picture. Oh god, I don't like that stumbling. Where is she? Oh. What are you doing? Do your signature dive. Oh. What was that? Oh god! She she sent hair after me. Oh, move. The hair is coming. Ugh. There she is. Kinda wanna try the charge. Oh shit. Now I'm stuck. Oh my god, stop with the hair! She's doing it again. Oh, there! It started charging! Starting to finally get. It. I don't think I've ever used her powers correctly. Purple Diary. His parting gift was a forbidden child. The child had handsome features just like he did. Oh. So 
she fell in love with someone and they had a child together, but then he left again. Oh, but he wanted to escape with her, didn't he? If he stays in this place, they'll cast him away once he turns four. I have to find a way to sneak him into the village below before then. If I give him the earring his father gave me, I'm sure someday he will be able to come back. Okay. So they were going to cast out the baby once he was four? He'll be able to hear my voice. I may even be able to see his father again if he finds this earring. I'll name the child Kaname to symbolize our connection. Wait, wasn't Kaname the one we just read about? I know the child will come back with his father. Amane. Okay, no, different. Amane and Kaname. Okay, that's very confusing. <laughs> uh, okay, Whew. now that we did that though, I can go down here. What the fuck? She back already? I just vanquished her. Lady, give me a break. Ooh. Uh, fuck, I don't know where to go. Oh my gosh, she's here! No, stop! Leave me alone. I just fought you. I'm not in the mood. Bye. What's the... I'm hearing a seal somewhere. There it is. What is it? Oh, it's from above the ceremony room again. How did we get there? Oh, shit. Above the ceremony room. So that's this room that we were in. So one up would be this room. Oh, okay, we need to go back. Okay. We need to go back through her room, fuck. Man, they have such strict rules about having children here. But I don't really get the exact de de details because they did say that they were inviting men to compl to like continue lineage, right? So it's a ton of women in this house and every now and then they invite men because they need babies. But then this lady had a baby and I guess because it wasn't planned, it wasn't allowed, maybe? Or maybe she's not part of the lineage that needs to be continued. So her baby didn't matter. Or did she have a baby boy? Kaname. I don't know. Sounds like a girl's name, but I'm not sure. Maybe it was just because she had a boy he was going to be cast out because it wasn't a girl. I'm not too... Um, knowledgeable about the details. The fuck? What is it? What is it? Who is it? Oh. Can I? Oh, I can't take it. Hold on. Beam's in the way. Who the fuck is making these sounds? Excuse me? This is scary. Oh, wasn't this a known bug? I think this was a bug, like even on PS2. That they couldn't really, that they didn't really fix. Not enough blood. There we go, I did it. I don't like the face of that lady that's hanging there. Scary. Okay, that music definitely put me on edge. I thought I was going to be attacked and then nothing happened. 
You're definitely like, okay, where is it? Where's the terror? Oh, this this is an actual thing. There she is. Oh. Oh, too high. Shit. Oh god. Can I? Oh god, I can fight here? She's in the walls! Oh shit. Ooh hoo hoo! Oh! Holy shit! That was so close. God damn. <laughs> That was a scary one. Okay. I just keep going. God, Miku, you're doing some hardcore fighting. Oof. The game is gradually getting harder. I can definitely tell. I, I'm, I'm quite worried about the final boss, honestly. I think this is the hardest final boss in all of the games. All of the Fatal Frame games. This one is fucking fast. And like, the Fatal Frame 5 boss, sure, fast, but you have a really powerful fast camera as well. And I feel like this boss is even faster, but the controls are kind of sluggish, PS2. So that shit's hard. Candlelit Altar. Purity Stone Blue. Polished to a sheen. Ultramarine. Old book. Amane led a man into the Kuze shrine. The man woke the priestess from her dream. The Kuze code must be followed. She must be punished by impalement. She must not be let go. I think Amane is the girl um, with the little two pigtails. Or what's the word? The two little braids? I think it's braids. Oh, I should... Keep saving. Excuse me, what? Is this the same bug again? I don't think there's anyone here. Because my ghost meter isn't on either. So I'm just gonna go this way. And hopefully it goes away. This is a green one. Green finch. Oh, no diary? Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's three. Now the last one I know is all the way down here. Oh yeah, we needed to go through this. Okay, okay, we can do that. Miku's strong. We can do it. She's really powerful though. Her camera with the charge up is really good. Okay, now let's see how we're gonna find our way there. I'm gonna try the most direct route first and then we'll just see if a door is locked or something. We'll try and find an alternate route. This would be the most direct route, but let's see if the game allows us. Yep, nice. Okay. Um, got any items? Nope. Maybe here? Nope. I think this is where I needed to be, right? Yeah, I think it's on the left here. 
Right, and then you hear the singing, so you know you're in the right direction. You're heading in the right direction. That's smart. There she is. Can you take a picture? No. Nice, thank you. Oh god, we're gonna need it. I hate this. I really hate this. What? Hmm. There was a... There was something, but I don't... I didn't see it. I can squeeze through! Yeah, you sure can! Fuck. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be strong. And with that, I mean strong film. Not my mentality. <laughs> no! Oh gosh, she goes up. There, I got her! Oh god. Got her again! No! Oh, she just keeps coming. Back off! Back off, lady! You're creepy! I end up, I'm gonna use my powers. Come on. Yes. Oh, I did it. Fuck you, lady. Ooh. She's so creepy. We did it. We vanquished a demon. Ugh. I own I I own these crevices now. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a stone mirror! Nice! I didn't have one yet. Now let's get the fuck out of here before she comes back. Oh, the little door. Okay. <sighs> hey, we made it. Okay. A red one this time. Crimson. And a blue diary. My mother told me that I have an older brother. His name is Kaname and he lives in the house on the outside. In the Kuze house, they throw away boys. Ah, so he was sent outside. There we are. She told me many times that this was a secret. So the mom had a... So the long-haired lady that we're seeing upstairs, she had a son and a daughter. The son's name is Kaname. And he got um, sent away because he's a boy. And then the other daughter became um, an impalement. What's the word? Girl. My brother has the same earring as my mother. There are beautiful earrings that she got from father. Mother gave it to him so that no matter where he was, he could hear her voice. I wonder if he can hear my voice too. I want to see him. Neika was made into a priestess. I helped take care of the priestess. She tells me about the outside. She says when she talks, the pain isn't as bad. I'm glad that I can be of some help. The priestess has an earring just like mother's. She says it was a present from a good friend so that she can hear his voice no matter where she is. I think the friend is Kaname. Priestess talks about him a lot. Okay, so Deika, the priestess, fell in love with Kaname, who was the illegitimate... Ill, how was the word? Illegitimate? This, is that the word? I think there's more to the word. But the illegal son <laughs> of the lady who's upstairs. Priestess seems kind of lonely. Oh, we know from one that that's a bad idea. The jewel I found in the room with the impaled doll should fit perfectly in one of the indentations on the altar. It sure would. Mmm. We unlocked it now. That makes sense. Ah. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Every time I play this game, I'm always like, oh, right. Oh, fuck, it's two of them. Ah, oh, Jesus, I don't want to fight on the stairs. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, let's go here. This should be a little bit better. Gotta make these shots count.
Ooh, hope that counts. Okay. Okay, that's it. One more. Hope that stays charged. Oh, almost had it. I want to do the charge shot, but it's too hard. If I know she's coming for me, there. Oh, no. Oh, God, she's down below. That sort of counted, but it wasn't great. That charge shot is hard to pull off. Did I do it? I think I charged it. I think I took an extra picture there. But... Oh, that was great. I think I handled that quite well. Okay, now let's get the fuck out of here, Miko. Miko, Miko. <laughs> Miko! <laughs> oh, that's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess that's the only way we can leave this room, so... Let's go here. Um... Okay. Think. What's the way back? to that room that we want to be at. It's through... It's this way. I don't... Were we here before? Goddamn. So confusing. We want to be in this room. Oh yeah, we can just go through here. This is where we started the chapter. Oh boy, so stressful. Mm, this way. <laughs> oh, there she is. Kaname o Nisan. Hmm. Oh, so cool. Oh, what's she looking at? Was that there this whole time? Kaname snuck in with the people who came to ease their pains. He said he wants to see the priestess just once. It is against the code, but as she's going to have to perform the rite of commandment soon, she won't be able to leave again. I want to help them meet just once. Kaname went into the shrine to the priestess's place. Men cannot go into the shrine. I'm sure the mistress will be upset. <sighs> really reminds me of Fatal Frame 1, where Kidie was like, I just want to see him one more time. The jewels I found in the room with the impaled doll should fit perfectly. Um, obtain the four purity stones by the handmaiden's song. Subdue the wa waking of the priestess. Okay. So we have L blue, green, blue, and red. That's definitely not the first one. That's the last one. That's definitely not the first one. How about this one? That's it. What a cute voice. Pretty good. Oh. 
I guess it's not correct. I think this one is definitely first. I could maybe switch those. see so it's if she wakes up make sure she's pinned down because otherwise the gates will open the rift mechanism begins to move and the suspended cell is raised upward I should be able to enter from the upper level oh the cage went way up Okay. Oh, you broke the rules. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah, God. Sticky hands. Sticky hands. I think that's a good one. I think charging it up like that is a good idea. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, just barely evaded the arms. Oh god! Oh. Got her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy shit. I had no idea how powerful that attack is. That charge attack. How have I never used this before? Oh, time to wake up? What? Oh, only 40 minutes? Damn. That was shorter than I thought. Make his dream again. Old film. What is it? Shrine Maiden Girl. The girls dressed as Shrine Maidens to try to impale me in the daydream I had inside the deserted house. Are they constantly impaling dolls in those small red rooms dotted around the manor? What about Amane, the name they kept repeating? Could that be the girl who was begging for help? Yeah, seems like it. So Amane's older brother, Kaname, fell in love with Reika. Deika was the priestess, and she was about to do a ritual. And Amane was like, I want them to meet one last time, because they seem so lonely. And she led Kaname into the building. And he went to a location in the manor that is absolutely forbidden for outsiders. I think that's what we can conclude from what we've just played. I think I'm up to speed. Good job, me. Okay, photos. Let's start with that. Also, we slept so long. I just realized, I never realized that. What the fuck? I just realized we've been sleeping. You know how the dreams are supposed to get longer and longer? We've been sleeping so long now that by the time she finally wakes up, it's nighttime again. So she, just, she isn't bothering to get dressed anymore. Cause it's just time to go to bed anyway. Uh, why did that some of the stuff that I think I just really wasn't like I was so impatient when I was younger you know I think I was never really fully paying attention as a teenager to what I was actually playing all the scares and stuff I was like oh yeah fun <laughs> and I, I knew I liked the story and I like, got most of the story but I definitely 
didn't catch on to certain things as I am now, I think. So we got a picture of the ritual room and or ceremony room. Oh yeah, and the skin. Nice. Do you think Miku is still asleep? Yeah, what if she is still in the manor and we're just... Oh, why did I stop? We just disconnected. Our mind's like disconnected. And now I'm awake, but she isn't. She might be awake though, I don't know. Where's the cat? Miku! No sleeping! I want you to do research. Oh, she's awake. Did you just wake up? Miku. Mafuyu. Miku? Mafuyu! Miku? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Oh, she does get dressed. Never mind then. My whole thing... My whole spiel doesn't work. It did seem night though. I guess maybe maybe I didn't sleep a whole day. Maybe I was just waking up earlier in the middle of the night. Do you think we went back to bed then? I do think though that she does end up at a spot where it's like she doesn't she doesn't get dressed anymore and just stays in her PJs or something. Uh, Good morning. Sleep well? Oh, you found something? Doll in the skewer. I thought it may be similar to the legend of the straw dolls passed on in something. Anyway, it has something to do with the folklore. You might find something in one of you's books. Hmm. Thanks, I'll go take a look. I was interested myself, so I did some research on that lullaby. You were interested in it too, right? Mm -hmm. In the mountains of the Mutsu region, there is an old lullaby that was only passed on to certain villages. First one, sleep child, go to sleep. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side. Once you get there, the bib you shall wear, and you will be punished should you fail to lie still. Within the same mountain chain, the song The Sleeping Priestess was only transmitted to a certain number of villages. The dissemination is thought to be dependent on elements such as the village's roads and locations. As the usage of the word priestess implies, this song is thought to have its origins in indigenous folk rites, given its method of transmission. As for the lyrics themselves, the opening line, sleep child, go to sleep, calls the child to sleep. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side, uses words like boat and the other side, which is suggestive of banishment. It can be taken as a stanza of a threatening song, which is to frighten the child into sleep. The bib you shall wear can be understood to the picked, you will be dressed up to go. After, should you fail to lie still, it, the inclusion of the frightening words you will be punished impresses admonition upon the child. Perhaps as the one ceremonial song changes, changed into a lullaby, it metamorphosed into a threatening song, so common in the Mutsu area. If you should wake from your slumber at night, great wooden stakes shall pin you down tight, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too. The second verse develops in a very similar way and make you, makes use of the same elements. If you should wake, threatens that if the priestess should wake during the ceremony in a lullaby, this means sleep, the woken priestess or child will have her limbs pinned by stakes. These great wooden stakes may be a remnant of a religious phrase. At the last part, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too, there is a shift from a familiar story centering on the priestess to an uneasy end, both vague and large in scale. It is thought that this expresses religious fear, such as the dread of the underworld. Mm hmm. I'll borrow it for a bit, thanks. Hmm. I actually do have something that I want you to help me with. Hmm. Rain indeed. Can I give you the pictures? Can I help you with something? I was wondering if you could research the photograph for me. Oh, I still had that old one? Wait, I still had all of these old ones? I had so many! Okay, these are the last one. These are tattoos, right? I can see what I can find out. This is weird though. Because it's Mika who took the pictures in the dream, but she's not like freaked out seeing these pictures. Wait, 
That was it, right? She said oh, she's only thinking of the past lately. Um, of when she was younger. What's this? Letter on the kitchen counter from Kay. Dear you, the cassette tapes I have restored are finished now, so I'm sending them. My tape player broke, so I can't listen to them, but apparently they were in pretty bad shape, so even though they've been restored, they may be hard to hear. In the dream I had the other day, I saw Mio deep in the manor. It looked like she was after her missing sister, Mayu. I guess it has weighed on me. When I wake, the pain and the tattoo spread, just like the story says. If I don't hurry, I may also go missing, like the urban legends. This may be it for my investigation. Once I get off the mountain, I'll give you a call. Damn. Two old cassettes. The same dream, too. Testimony of for persons having the same dream. And another one. Nice. Is that it? Okay. Let's go listen to them. That kitty is just so blissfully unaware of what's happening. <laughs> he's just uh, hes just like, Mika wakes up and she pets me. That's all I care about. Same dream. Nemuri <laughs> takunai. He got sleepy at the end there. I love how it, the conversation started with like, I don't want to sleep. And then he starts talking about it. Yeah, a house and I saw my wife and I just want to see her again. And then it ends with like, I'm sleepy. I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
That was a good one. Well, that's it. Should we do a quick round of the house? See if we find anything? See if we trigger... something. We saw the little leggies under there. We saw the legs in the bathroom. We've seen most of the ones that I remember. Yeah. Nothing here. Let's go back. To the manner of sleep! Ooh. Can't believe this is only the fourth episode I've done. I feel like I'm like seven episodes in. I guess maybe it's because of the chapters. Oh, look at that! Play the frame two time! Nice. We know those scenes. Let's have a look. Can you get in there? Chapter eight, the vacant dream. On the bar door of the cell, there are two old-style locks. Light and shadow. Okay. Hmm. It's okay. I'll be right back. Can we go through here? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're here. Well, that sucks. Yeah, don't don't go there. Just ignore it. Check check the check the closet. Oh, hey, it's a dude. Don't go any closer. Oh. That is cool. Do you think the inner garden is in the next room? Oh god. Oh, they're looking at me. No, thank you. I I'm always uneasy in this room because of Fatal Frame 2. What happens in that room? Okay, this is not where I thought we were gonna be. Okay, this is the Osaka house. Follow the butterfly. Where you go, little buddy? Oh. Uh. God, where the fuck am I looking? What? Oh, he was already looking at them. Okay. Red notebook. Masumi, it's Miyako. I came to find you. Let's go back together. If we're two, maybe we can leave. If you read this, shout for me. I'm close. Stay strong. Should we check out this room? Oh god, she's not in here, is she? Oh, that would be horrible. Please don't be in here. How much time has passed since I came to this village? Dawn never breaks. I'm sick of the dark. I'm going crazy. I want to leave. I want to see Masumi. That woman's name. <gasps> no! Did you see that? Oh. Oh, ginger key. So they wanted me to. Could this be the key to Mio's cell? No. That was a light and dark key. Oh shit. Um, let's save and run. So she's in this house now. That fucking sucks. Okay. Hour eight. Ginger key. That might be upstairs where we saw the twins. Should probably just go. Before she sees us. Oh, she saw us. Yep. She saw us. 
We're fucked. Go, go, go. Just go, dude! Go! Go through! Run! Okay. <gasps> Continue with the ritual. Hmm. <sighs> so stressful. What is it? Sunlight key. That's what we need. Nice. Uh, okay. Switch your stand. Oh, shadow key. What the fuck? I got both already. Oh god. Hi. Uh, damn it. Oh, nice. Nice one. Wait, should I follow her? Oh, pinwheels. Oh, we need something in the center. Okay. So this is locked for now. It's so weird seeing it like this, because we played the Wii version, which was like an upgraded version of this. Oh! That little pot got excited. Okay, I don't know where she is. But I just need to go back. Just gotta be quick. Go, go. Oh, the face in the back! Jesus! Those really get me. They're so fucking scary. I'm not going near anywhere where that ghost is, so I'm out. No, no, Kusabi. Go, go, go. No! You gotta be kidding me! You don't fight the Kusabi, are you crazy? Fuck, I'm so fucked. Oh my god. Where is he? Oh god. Oh god. Well, he missed me, thank god. Ooh! Dude, I... Yeah. Okay. How... How the fuck are you supposed to fight that? Excuse me? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to fight him. That makes sense. Because I was like, this dude is way too strong for me. I just had to survive. Oh, Mio's gone. Damn it. There you go. Ah, so cool to be here. Tsuto isho dakara. Always together. What looks like an old lithograph stone is lying on top of an old writing desk. Ah, that's what we needed. Found part of the camera obscura. Zero. Nice. It's a damage one, right? Yeah. Cool. I'll use that. Let's equip that. What do I have on it now? Slow. Oh, pressure. Yeah. Should I upgrade something for him? Yeah, he has a shitty camera. Is this his power? Store? Max spirit power charge. If you power up, possible charge amount increases. Hmm. I don't think we've played as they in a while. <laughs> I just realized. I'll give him one of these. Anything else? A doll on the desk. Did it belong to someone who was once locked up in here? Sometimes I get the feeling it's looking at me. Oh, under the desk? Yeah, it definitely looks like it's looking at you. 
nothing? Hmm. Oh, looking at them, I'm struck by the words Twin Shrine Maidens. Twin Shrine Maidens. Sacrifice in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well. In this case, they're called Altar Twins. The people of this region believe that twins were once a single being, which was split into two at birth. Ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the twin maiden, the shrine maiden will gain the power of a deity. The older sister must huh the younger and throw her into the abyss. The huh part must refer to the most horrible part of the ritual, probably some kind of sacrifice. I wonder if M Mio actually oh ever told Kay what she had to do. I was actually not planning to go here, but I was curious if there was an item somewhere that I missed. Like here? Nice. Perfect. Okay, if there's a butterfly here, I'll go have a look. Oh, I can go here too. Uh, let's see... Ha. Huh. Green. Red. There. Oh, actually no, that didn't work. It's these, and then two of these. There we go. Yes. Ah. Oh, it wasn't blue though. She's too far away. I wonder, I wonder why the voices are so fucked in this version. That sounded good though. It's basically the same theme from before. It's like, always together, we promised, I'll never leave you, we'll always be together. And then I'll repeat. There she goes. Oh. There we go. The kusabi. Mio. Mio. There has to be some other way. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Fuck me, dude. I am not fighting you. Are you kidding me? Oh god. Why? This is not gonna go well. Oh god. Eee. Should we try? I don't know if we actually have to fight this time. I don't think so. Oh! Holy shit, dude. Jesus. Go, go, go. Get away from him. Oh. Ah, still hit me. No, oh, I didn't. That didn't count, did it? Nope. Oh, God, dude. Don't die. Jesus. This is a hard bit for K. <laughs> uh, oh god, oh god. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Oh! Holy shit. Go, go, go. Run. Keep running. 
Oh, they're trying to come for me. Okay, I need to like... I'm trying to use the fucking... Oh, I guess there's not enough spirit power in the... Oh, run! For the lens. I need to heal again. I need to heal again. God, the, this feels so oppressive. It's like, oh my god, just let me go! I need to leave this room! Dude, stop! Stop! Okay, there he goes. Okay, now he resets. Gotcha. Okay, now I have to... No, you still can't do it. How many spirit points is the... Also, I'm out of film, I think. Yeah. Three. It takes three. Okay. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, a wasted opportunity. Could have gotten in there. Okay, time to run. Oh, too early. Run! Uh. Damn it. I think I'm out of healing items. Oh, last one. Okay. Oh, God! Dude, I can't... He appears like right in front of me. It's like, what do you expect me to do? No, you gotta be kidding me. The fucking rope. The fucking tiny bit of rope that was hanging there blocked my shot. No, that is so unfair. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Please count. Oh, that killed him. I finally used the filter. I finally had enough spirit power. Oh, I'm so close to death. Jesus Christ. That was tough. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh my god, no. Just go. Just no. Remember how I said I could tell the game was getting harder? <laughs> Holy shit. Just leave. Just leave. Go. Did I even get anything? Oh shit. He's still here. Oh no. We're so fucked. We're gonna use that mirror. That stone mirror. Ah! Let me out of here. Go, go, go. Escape! Mio! <laughs> I don't even know what he said. I was too stressed. <laughs> I was like, get me out of here! Oh, thank God. That was so fucking hard. Oh, this is the hardest Fatal Frame, isn't it? Uh. Oh yeah, we got a ton of pictures. Okay. I want to save that. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, Kay's bits are just going to get harder and harder as well. Um... You'll see. Ooh, phone call. Hello? Asuo-san is a otaku? Yes, that's I want to talk to you. 
Oh, I see. You. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I was doing an investigation and I lost contact with him. About that investigation, I'd like you to continue investigating the matter of sleep. Why? I can't say. Just please. He wants to visit us. Hi. Okay. Mm, he wants to pay his respects to you as well. Okay. The manor of sleep. These tattoos, could they be a curse from the tattooed woman in the manor? When the tattoos spread, when the woman catches me, will I disappear like Yoshino did? And what of Mr. Amakura and Miku? Yeah. Tons of people involved this time. Or by now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No worries, safe. I'm gonna keep checking the hallways. You never know. Might hear something. Oh, I should develop the film as well. Might as well do that then. And then Kay is visiting. Do you think he'll make it? Think he's gonna come over? So this is the dude in the closet. I wonder... I wonder why they is saying, like, I can't tell, though. Like, wouldn't it help everyone if you're like, I'm seeing your dreams, I know what you're doing. Like, we're all in this together. Wouldn't that be amazing? But maybe it's also... Like, they're a little bit ashamed or something, that they can't let the past go. That they're so enraptured by it still. Maybe they don't want to share that they're having those kind of dreams. Where'd the Miku be? Got some pictures to give her. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Here you go. I thought this might have some connection to the photo of the shrine carpenter. Oh yeah, we forgot. We need to look among used books as well. A shrine carpenter is a carpenter who specializes in building temples and shrines. They were formerly called temple and shrine carpenters, but when Shinto and Buddhism were separated in the Meiji period and the anti-Buddhist movement began, temple was removed from the name and they became shrine carpenters. Amongst themselves, they said, building mere a house degrades one. And when they did not have a building contract, they would work in farming or the like, and with only limited site experience, refine their skills technique and skill. They were carpenters who only served one shrine and special techniques, methods and ways of mystic construction were passed to that master builder. This photograph is one of the framework with the carpenters lined up and the master builders at the center. As in the picture, they wore white clothing and a court hat for the framework raising ceremony, but in old times they would wear white clothes during work as well as it was said that a carpenter must worship the gods and Buddha. While this dress expressed piety, it may also have been a way for the shrine carpenters to assert their pride and skill before others. Hmm. Okay. And the tattoos. This combination of snake and holly in this tattoo is primarily found in northeastern Japan. This design is chronicled in the North old northeastern Japan folktale Tattoo Maiden. A girl loses her lover, and before he fades from her memory completely, she takes the pain of her remaining love and imbues it in a holly tattoo. Yet the girl falls in love once more. Again, she loses her lover. She engraves the tattoo of her love into her body again. 
This time she engraves a divine snake of so her lover's spirit will arrive safely in the place of the gods. As the girl repeats love and loss, her skin grows filled with tattoos. She cannot tolerate the pain of her tattoos, and it takes its toll on her sanity. Meanwhile, her heart is eaten by the snake engraved in her soul. This legend is widely known on the plains, but depending on the region, slight differences appear. In the mountains, the following changes can be found in the story. This is called the Tattoo Master. The girl who lost her lover goes to the mountain master to relie relieve her pain, to confide in her. On hearing of the girl's pains, the master engraves the snake and holly on her own body and assumes the pain. The villagers hearing of this visit the master one after another to relieve their pains as well. Eventually, the master's entire body is covered with tattoos. She who took on so many pains gets trapped in sleep from the pain of the engraved tattoos and cannot wake. Finally, she's eaten by the tattooed snake. The story has one more version, this with an even more tragic ending. It is likely a story designed to teach a lesson. The master covered in tattoos goes as far as to, to tattoo Holly in her eyes. Then her tattooed eyes turn to a mirror and the pains engraved on the master are repelled back to the people who engraved them. In the end, every last person is eaten by the snake. The part about turning to mirror may come from how snake's eyes were traditionally thought to resemble mirrors. Given the change in the story, it appears that when the tattoo master legend of the mountains spread to the plains, it became more fable-like. The story with its priestess-like element of the master was corrupted into the city girl's foolish love story. As far as the meaning of the snake and holly tattoo in this folktale, the holly tree represents the pain of love for the dead and pains of the heart. The snake is employed here in the divine sense and its import seems to be tied into love and pathos for the dead that devours those including the girl and the master. So cool. I was able to ask around at the hospital about this picture of Miss Takigawa. Mm. The clothes these people around Miss Takigawa are wearing in the picture. They look kind of like the clothes her family and lover were wearing. They were all riding in the same plane. I see. Thanks. Poor, poor Yoshino. Rain today too. Something the matter? Photographs, here you go. Hmm, I can't give her the other one. Mm, same as before. She's just thinking of the past when she was a kid. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, my mind wandered. Okay. Oh, how's the doll doing? Oh, that's long hair. That got so much longer. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go check Yu's room. See if there's some books that I missed. And then probably go to bed again. And that must be chapter 9 then, I'm assuming. I hope he can play his day again. It's been so long. Arranged on the bookcase are a used collection of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. Book with a Buddhist image that resembles the Buddhist image in the photograph. The statue is from a derelict temple in the Akita Mountains. It is standing upright but seems to be holding something like reins in its hand, making it a very unusual Buddhist statue. The temple appears to have been neglected for many years, and both the ceiling and floor fell in. The books were completely decomposed. Upon investigation, a small amount of blood was found on the statue, and there were also traces of the same blood on the floor of the temple. It appears some kind of folk ritual or sacrifice might have taken place here. No oral tradition or documents related to the temple are left in the surrounding mountain villages, so the details remain a mystery. Photograph with scenery closely resembling that in the other photograph. The skewered dolls. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls they make from straw, earth, or cloth, and worshipping them as idols. The doll in the picture was reported by, Iwate, by an Iwate resident. It is called Kushimi. When someone dies in the village, they weave the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. <gasps> Creepy! The doll is fixed onto skewers and put before a shrine at the end of the edge of the mountains. 
The doll is enshrined for up to one month after the death, and after that period passes, it is cast into the river behind the shrine together with various offerings. In this region's tradition, there is said to be a cave in the mountains connecting the land connecting to the land of the gods. The dead who became Kashimi stand between the village and the mountain. They take upon the village's evil and head to the land of the gods. In a neighboring village, there is said to be a similar doll called Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young and is deified in the mountains. In one interpretation, both village and mountain have a protective deity standing in the border between people and gods. In another sense, burdening the death with evil or deifying the spirit of the young in a mountain connotes human sacrifice. Hmm. Okay. Temple and Shrine Carpenters. Spirit of the Way. There have been incidents of shrine carpenters disappearing across the region. This month alone, 10 shrine carpenters have gone missing, and it is rumored that they may be so called Spirit of the Way. All 10 shrine carpenters were young and well respected, and it is said that several have been summoned to rebuild a secret shrine somewhere. Hmm. Nice. That it? Okay. All caught up. Unless there's something here. Old pieces of machinery. Typed and handwritten letters. Used document file, there's a newspaper. Ah. Land surveyors go missing. While conducting a geological survey of the plant Minakami Dam site, ah, fatal frame two, Masumi Makimura entered the Ma Minakami Mountains and then disappeared. Makimura's fiance, Miyako Sudo, oh, Sudo, hmm, went looking for him and disappeared similarly. Uh, just a name I've heard of. As of yesterday, the search for them was called off and construction of the Minakami Dam resumed. The Minakami mountain area has historically had many cases of missing persons. As myths of spirited aways are popular in the area, this incident is also rumored to be one such spirited away. The police continue to call for provision of any information related to the disappearance of the two. After consultation with the relatives on both sides, they announced that they would ter be terminating the search. Yeah, that's um, the couple that Fatal Frame 2 starts with. The dude goes missing in the Osaka house, he dies, and then his fiance comes after him, but then she gets strangled by him, by his ghost. Sad. <gasps> oh my god! Scared the fuck out of me. Jesus. Are you under the covers or under the mattress? Has tattoos, see that? <laughs> so good. Okay, let me save. What are we at? Hour eight. Yeah, vacant dream. Well, time for bed. Just get all snugly under the covers with that arm. <laughs> oh, time for him. More carpenter, carpenter business. Yeah, the one about the hatch is the master builder, who was the one remaining afterwards. Are we day? Yes! Nice! It's been so long! <laughs> Hour nine! Holy shit! The unleashing. Oh, she bowed to me. So, they're treating me like the priestess now? I'm special? Um, I'm not gonna upgrade just yet. I'm gonna do that next episode, but yeah, 38. Okay, we can do some upgrading. Good. The lenses I'm gonna wait. Just the basic camera needs to be stronger. That's like top priority for me. Um, we do this. Okay, Oof, that was a stressful one. It's definitely getting much harder as K and Miku. Those fights were re really spicy. Under the floor and then fighting the Kusabi of all things as well. And his like moveset is so tricky. Like how he like flies at you not in a straight line and then um, the punches that he did but then also the projectiles that he throws at you. It's a really hard fight. Um, and K's bit is only gonna get worse. Oh my god. <laughs> but we can do it. 
I'm determined. I'm gonna just uh, upgrade Bay's camera first, because she's top priority, and then the rest, they get the, the other two people get the other points, you know? Um, but yeah, chapter nine of like 12, I think. So we're doing pretty good. I think we're at a good pace. Um, and then, uh, oh, I'm, kind of, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but in my head, I'm like, oh, Philippine Four soon. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. It's so good. Um, but yeah, this has been amazing. I also forgot to read the journal entry, so I'll start the next episode with that. Journal entries, upgrade the camera, and then rock and roll time. That was it for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Share the word that there's a Fatal Frame marathon if people want to go through the series and they aren't aware that I'm doing that. Definitely share it where you can. And I'll see you guys soon with another part. Thank you so much for watching.